find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. You need to make sure that you wake up every single morning trying to improve upon the little things in your life so that one day you will be great at several things. Just because you put time and energy in over time and you become the best version of yourself that you can possibly be by putting in time and energy and effort day after day, morning after morning, waking up early and making sure that you find something that you can improve just ever so slightly so that you will become better than you were the day before. Let the fear of regret fuel you to take action. There is an expression that we actually used quite a bit in my old job. If something good happened or something bad happened or you did something good or you did something bad. Or maybe it was just time to move past a certain event. Time to move forward. It was a cynical expression. The expression was, get a haircut and check the watch bill. Get a haircut, meaning you gotta go to the barber and check the watch bill, means you're probably gonna have extra duty. But it's a way of saying, it's time to carry on. It's time to move forward. And look, 2020, not exactly what we planned. 2021, who knows? Doesn't matter. Get a haircut, check the watch bill, it's time to go forward. Hello, Readers Are Leaders Challenge. I wanna tell you that that is a great challenge and it's a very true statement. Readers are leaders. I was in the military and I was a leader in the military and when I got out of the military, I started working with business leaders and the successful leaders in the military and the successful leaders in business, they read. Why does reading make you a better leader? Well, when you read a lot, it makes you a better writer and it makes you a better speaker. And when you're a better writer and a better speaker, that makes you a better communicator. And the better you can communicate, the better you can lead. Jim Otto, he's your leader. He's the leader of Staten Island. And he's a real big time reader. He actually read the first book I wrote and reached out to me to help give a hand with this Readers Are Leaders Challenge. I'm happy to do so. I hope you enjoy the book that I wrote and I hope you enjoy all the other books that you read. And I want you to go out there, be a reader, be a leader, read, lead, and win. Let me ask you this. Did we have a ground-based plan for the operation in case the weather came in, we were going to take vehicles instead? If you get sick before the competition, maybe you ask yourself, were you resting properly? Were you eating properly going into the competition so you wouldn't get sick? You could address that, correct? So you can still take ownership of things even if the initial reaction is like, oh, well, there's you can't control that. Well, you can influence it, you could mitigate it. Can there still be legitimate reasons? Yes, there can. And for me, the difference, the line between an excuse and a reason is a reason you have zero control over, right? You, have ze you just have zero control over something happening. Well, that's a reason. I get on the road, basically a couple roads out of my house, and the one entry way to get on the freeway is locked down. The traffic prior to leaving and taking a completely different route, that would have been, I blame myself. And I realized, okay, I need to actually put these principles in a field manual that people can pragmatically take the lessons, take the principles, and apply them to what's happening in the world. And that's what I try to do in the, in the new field manual. Well, actually what I did was I started off with what I considered leadership building blocks one, two, and three from my life, from these specific events or these specific scenarios. And I applied those for the rest of my career and for the rest of my life and I apply them today. You want to get better? You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock find your discipline it isn't a quick path and there are no shortcuts it's a daily a weekly it's an hourly fight it's waking up early and going to bed late and grinding out every second in between every single day thanks so much for watching Please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know what you thought down in the comment section below.